Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to celebrate a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel on Data Yourself. Hey, how are we doing today? So, it's been a crazy month, April 2020. A lot's been going on. You may notice I have a nice beard now. Uh, on April 10th, I wore the uniform of the United States Navy for the last time in preparation for my retirement. I'm on terminal leave now. Uh, I will be done with my commitment to the Navy on the 31st of May. So a little bit of leave and job hunting. And that'll be it, 21 years of service. On April 11th, uh, the channel got its 1,000th subscriber. A uh, big hurdle and a big milestone for me and, uh, and show of growth in the YouTube world. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, that's uh, one of the biggest milestones for a new YouTuber is to get to a thousand subscribers. And then on April 12th, we celebrated our first year from when I started the channel. Um, a lot happened in that year. I'll tell you, I did not know what I was doing. I watched a lot of YouTube. I talked to a lot of people. I attended a convention in Atlanta, the Workbench Con, and met other people in the niche that do DIY and woodworking and learned a lot from them and the encouragement and the support I got from those people over the year has really got me to this point. But I couldn't have gotten to this point really without you the subscriber. The first thousand people who took a chance on Data Yourself DIY and made it what it is today. I really appreciate it. So what comes with a thousand subscribers? Well in the YouTube world it's called the Opal Award, white one right there. Uh, they don't give the Opal Award out. Um, they give the silver and the gold and the diamond and the ruby awards come from YouTube. But these are just milestone awards uh, for 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, and such. So this video is about how I built this Opal Award. And actually right next to it there is the Graphite Award for 100 subscribers. I built it while I was doing it. Let's check this out. I got the idea for this project from the YouTube channel Atomic Dairy. They were recently doing a video on them celebrating their 1,000 subscriber milestone as well. And in that video they talk about the different sizes and how they came to determine what awards were what and what size. So if you have a chance to check out their video, please do. I'll have a link down to it down in the description. But it's common knowledge that the silver award is three quarters the size of the gold award. And then the assumption is that the bronze award is three quarters the size of the civil award. And then the opal award is three quarters the size of that. And the graphite award is three quarters the size of that. So using those assumptions, I went online and got a picture of one of the creator awards. This one happens to be a silver award and then printed it in scale size for the opal award and the graphite award. I'm cutting that out and I'll use those as my templates to mark the wood. Now that I'm done marking out the wood, I took a trip over to my miter saw and I'm cutting the pieces out. I was fortunate enough that the piece of lumber I had was the exact width of the Opal Award, so I just had to cross cut that and then cut the two sides of the Graphite Award to their size. I'm going to be cutting out the play button section of the plaque with a scroll saw, so I needed to drill some pilot holes with my drill press. So cutting out the play button with the scroll saw goes relatively quick. The key here is with a fine tooth blade, if I stay to that line and I go slow and I take my time, almost no sanding or shaping is gonna be needed. Unfortunately, my hand wasn't as steady as I wanted it to be, so I have to take a rasp and a file and clean these edges up a little bit. But the work wasn't that hard, and this is pine, so it's not that hard of a wood, and it shapes pretty easy. So the next step in the project is using this 3 8 rabbiting bit to create a pocket in the back of the play button section so that I can put a back plate in it. 
I uh, just ran it around the bearing and created the little pocket for both the opal and the graphite award. Next, going to be using this keyhole bit to create a slot in the back of the plaque for hanging. If you've never used a keyhole bit, what it does is you plunge it down on the plaque, then slide it sideways, and then back again, and it creates a hole for the head of a nail to go in, but it retains that nail and keeps the plaque from falling off of the wall. Using my bandsaw to cut out the forward arrows for the play buttons out of this quarter inch piece of pine and I'll take those over to the bench sander and shape them and clean them up a little bit. So to make the plates for the back of the play button I learned this neat trick. If you take some painter tape and put it over the opening and then cut it out with a razor blade you'll have an exact match to the shape. Uh, it makes it easier because these I can't flip over and trace from the front because they're recessed. So this works out really well. Then I'll take that piece of tape, put it on a piece of uh, quarter inch Luan, and cut it out on the bandsaw. Now that I have those pieces cut out, it's just a matter of uh, taking them over to the bench sander and cleaning them up, uh, sanding down to the line or actually the edge of the tape that I had on the wood. Now that I've got all those sanded, it's just a matter of peeling off the tape and checking them for fit before we go to paint. Now that I've got those fit in there, you can see how they make the recess of the play button. Works really well and looks really good. So from here on out, I'm only going to show the Opal Award. Every step you see me do will be repeated with the Graphite Award, just with some different colors. Uh, I'm doing the back of the play button here using a glossy white, and then the plaque itself will be painted with a flat white. And then over the top of that, I put a glitter spray to kind of simulate the Opal color. I wasn't able to find a paint style or a type of paint that simulated the Opal color. Uh, so I'm more looking at a pearl. Uh, it's close, but it's not perfect. Um, in the future, maybe a little bit more painting techniques could have been something, or you may want to look at something like that. But I chose what I chose, and it's working out for me. So I let the paint dry for about an hour. And now it's time to put the play button on the back of it. It's hard to see, but I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it, but it's there. It looks pretty cool. So now I'll just use a little CA glue, put it in the rabbit on the back, and then stick the back of the play button plate in its place. And you can see the contrast between the flat white and the glossy white I had on the back of the play button. It provides a really nice uh, offset. So I kept all the paper cutouts from the original templates and I'm sticking it in the play button reset here so I can put the forward arrow in place using a little bit of CA glue. I made a template uh, out of vinyl on my Cricut machine. The surface of the plaque is not smooth. The glitter spray actually gives it a rough texture, so I had to press really hard to make sure this stuck down. And it's just a matter of me putting the template on, make sure all the letters and everything are good, and then taping it off with some painter's tape and get it ready for spray paint. For the lettering, I started with a gloss white just to give it a nice base against the flat white of the background and then gave it a slight dusting with a silver paint to give it contrast so I didn't have too much white on white on white. Uh, the silver actually worked out really well for me. 
So I let the paint dry. It's just a matter of pulling off the painter's tape and the stencil. And it came out really good. I'm super happy with this. Just gonna have to clean off some of the little in-between parts and that'll be it. Well, here it is, and I am super happy with the results. I think the silver paint worked out really well, providing a nice contrast, and that glitter paint, awesome texture. Hey, this was a fun little project. I learned a lot about how I use my Cricut and uh, using vinyl stencils. Uh, these little teeny letters were kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, we persevered. Uh, again, I wanna take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers and your support. Uh, I don't know what the future holds, but it's definitely going to include Dad It Yourself DIY. If you have any questions or comments about this build or anything I do, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad It Yourself.